everyone. In addition to the week three uh, optional challenge, I wanted to elaborate on Blackboard Collaborate Ultra and its usages. A lot of people have looked at Blackboard Collaborate Ultra and wondered why in the world would I want to use this for my course. A distance learning or online course is typically asynchronous. Well, that might be true, but there are the options to include a synchronous session where you as the instructor would hold a virtual lecture, either showing your video and audio, or maybe even just your audio with a PowerPoint presentation. Today's little video is going to demonstrate for you how to create a audio and video lecture, if that's what you wished to do, and to include these links in your course if that's what's something else that you wish to do. So without further information, let's check this out. First of all, I'm in a sample course, which has the main course menu that all of you would see when you get a new uh, course on Blackboard each semester. I would navigate down to web meetings. Now, by default, web meetings will have a box next to it with a line through it, meaning that the link is hidden from students. If I even didn't want to still have this hidden, or not hidden, or just, I can leave it as it is. Let's just put it that way. When I click on web meetings, Blackboard Collaborate Ultra should appear. If it does not in your course, simply go up to the top of your course menu to the circle with the plus sign. The mini pop-up menu will come up. Navigate to tool link, type in web meetings or whatever you wish to call it, and then under type, choose Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. If you want it to show to your users, click available to users. If not, don't worry about it. When finished, click submit. I'm going to cancel it because I already have the link right here. As the previous um, little video showed you, you can create the session if you wish to sh if you wish to do that. So let's say we're going to call this wrap up week one. So I'm going to leave it as it is. I'm going to make it no end or open session if I choose to. I'm going to go navigate down to the session settings, allow recording downloads, which I'll show you why in a minute. And once I do that, everything else will be there. I'm just going to record a PowerPoint presentation as a wrap up for the week. I'm going to choose save. The session populates, it tells me it's available. Now I can access it through the course. So I'm going to click on wrap up week one. I'm going to join the session. And now it's going to appear in a new tab. Choose join from a browser if that is an option because that will give you the best compatibility across all your devices. However, I've noticed on Macs that you may need to be forced to either use the student Blackboard app, which is the gray or the, excuse me, the grayish blue square with the pencil in it, or the Blackboard instructor app, which has what we call, I, I guess, an organizational folder with an orange square. If you can though, choose join from browser. So now here we are, wrap up week one. You can see joining the session as my name. I already have my profile picture loaded, which is fine and dandy with me. But now I'm going to choose to share my audio, which in the center at the bottom, I'll click on share audio. Once I do that, it's going to check my computer, make sure that I have a computer microphone or a microphone attached, and it's going to share my audio. And you can see here, let me move my Jing over. You can see that my audio is being shared and the microphone has a little up and down indicator notifying me that my audio can be heard. Now say I want to share my video. The next icon over next to it is a recorder icon, if you will, or a camcorder icon. Click that. It will give me a preview, which you guys can all see me now. And I can choose to share my video by choosing the share option on the lower right, or I can choose to cancel. So let's try sharing some video. It says I'm looking good, so hopefully that's the case. Now, to me, I'm down in the lower right. Uh, that's just the screen that you're seeing on my recording. However, if I show you this recording and put a link to it in our online elements training, you'll see it differently. First of all, I want to add a file. So I will open this purple tab. It's called the Collaborate panel on the lower right. Click to open. Navigate to the share content icon, which is the square with the right facing arrow. Click share content, and I'm going to share a file. So now I want to share a file. I'll just pick any random PowerPoint file I might have. 
Uh, let's see here. Good Lord, I didn't, I didn't come prepared for this. All right, uh, history of e-learning PowerPoint. There we go, that looks good, that's appropriate. So now you can see that it's converting and PowerPoint is taking a few moments to load. 237 is loaded, now I'm going to click on something else. You see this is highlighted in black. The PowerPoint's been converted, it's there. Now I'm going to click Share Now. I'm clicking Share Now, I can see all my slides, but now I need to select the first starting slide before it will appear. I can click on the purple tab to close my Collaborate panel and show a um, full screen version of it. This might look full screen to you. You may even see my little icon down on the right hand side. But now I can show this, and even if I wanted to get rid of my video, I can come navigate down to the center with the blue recorder icon, click on it, and then there disappears my face. Now, say I want to record. Up in the top left, you'll see an Open Session Menu tab. Click on Open Session Menu, click the first link, Start Recording. It gives you notification the session's being recorded, and now I'm recording my voice with this and you'll be able to hear this in the recording and I'll post that for you as well as long with this video. As the person that's doing the presenting with Blackboard Collaborate, I can navigate the slides. I can go from slide one, two, three. I can go back to two if I need further clarification. Forward, forward, forward. Give the wrap up if I, for instance, want to. This is the wrap up basic overview of the history of e-learning and it is actually an in, in, um, interactive, so unfortunately it does look a little strange here, but that's the way it is when it's in a development view. So at the end, I've gotten to the end of my presentation. Now I want to stop recording, but I want to continue recording the video. So when you're done with your wrap up, let me clarify this. When you're done with your presentation, you're done with your lecture, you're done with your recording that you want to post in your room, navigate back up to the top left where the open session menu tab is. You can see it's still being recorded and that you have this here, the recording icon. Click to open, then go to the first one, stop recording. Now that the recording has stopped, it's not a problem. 